Right, so this was a very quick throw together that was born because I had a four-year-old and a seven-year-old climbing the walls, driving me up the wall. Everybody was hungry, it was late, and I was in a rush for dinner. This is great because it uses up leftovers. Basically, onions and garlic because every good restaurant, every good recipe starts with onions and garlic because it's delicious and it's good for you. Lots of prebiotics. Then a bit of leftover rice chicken from the fridge. And whatever veggie you've got, capsicum, carrots, celery, green beans. You can put pretty much anything in there. Diced up broccoli stems even is good. Got some cumin for flavor, ground, whole, doesn't really make any difference. Can of beans, black beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, anything's fine. Even baked beans. If you've got a half a jar of salsa sitting in your fridge, use that up. It makes a good sauce. It's like it's pre-infused with flavors, and often you do end up with a half a jar left over anyway. A bit of extra tomatoes, cook them up. It's good for lycopene as well. Uh, your roast chicken, you can really top it with some of these chips, corn chips, plain chips, doesn't really matter. Put some cheese on top of that, and then we're going to bake it like a nacho topped pie, and we're going to finish it off with cottage cheese because that's what I had. But you could use sour cream, you could also use Greek yogurt, even creme fraiche. And for the haters, no, you don't have to use coriander, but it is delicious. And some fresh avocado dust and a squeeze of lime for zing and a bit of extra vitamin C. It's quick, it's tasty, it's nutritious, and it fights the hangries. I'm going to get myself set up so that I can chop safely. A wet cloth sticks your chopping board down nicely to your bench so you don't slip and risk losing your finger when you've got a four-year-old climbing your leg and you're trying to chop. Knives and I'm going to preheat my oven to a nice cranking high heat, probably about 200, 220. And I've got a nice cast iron pan that I can preheat as well. Get that nice and hot for adding in my garlic and my onions so I can hit the ground running. Right, everything has been fried up and mixed together and it's smelling nice and aromatic. We're going to top it with our corn chips, put them all spiky everywhere so they look like great mountains, cover them with some cheese, pop it in a nice hot oven, give it a nice time, the opportunity to get nice and like gooey and melty and delicious. There's some nice little golden bits. I go by smell. You, you stop it when you're ready. And while that's cooking, I'm going to chop some lime wedges, chop up some coriander and dice some avocado for the garnish. Right, we're going to pop all of this onto one table so that without breaking things, ideally. Um, pop the, all of this onto one platter, we can pop it on the table and then everybody can help themselves to the condiments that they like and they don't have to have the things that they don't like. Like the evil coriander, which I love. Armed with your Armageddon proof oven gloves, pick up incredibly hot glass and pop your super cheesy melty bubbly nachos down for everybody to enjoy so you can have a glass of wine. Charles. Yeah, super boring. Yeah. Yes, yes, I did smack them, and they deserved it. <laughs>